Hi, I'm Gina Salamone. I'm an attorney for Huck Boma, which is located in Wheaton and Elgin. My practice focuses specifically on elder law. Power of attorney documents are extremely important for all people to have because they are the legal documents that allow you to appoint another person to make decisions for you if you are incapacitated. In situations where someone doesn't have a power of attorney for property or health care, then their loved one typically has to go to court to get permission from the court to make decisions for them. The difference between a trust and a will is twofold. One, your trust exists while you are alive and it can have benefits such as money management or assisting and protecting against predators and, and other financial scams. A will is a document that really only comes into play when you pass away. One of the most common differences that people know about is that a will is subject to probate, which means that when you pass away, your will is filed with the court in the county where you died, and the court oversees the distribution of your assets. On the other hand, a trust is administered more privately and does not involve the court system at all. You know, whether or not to have a will or a trust is really a personal decision in many ways, but my general thought is that if you have a house or more than $100,000, you probably want to consider having a trust because it will avoid probate.